Once one sets aside the manichaean narrative and really looks at the context as well, uh, as well as the actual wording of the CPK documents, only one thing can be reached, can be reached. The word you does not refer to ordinary the Vietnamese civilians. How could a reference to the territory swallowing be found beyond reasonable doubt to refer to Vietnamese civilians? Mrs. President, I'm asking you, was it the Vietnamese government, the Vietnamese Communist Party, through its soldiers, who were coming onto DK's territory with the intent to invade it? Brutally encroached or was it Vietnamese civilians? What cannot be repeated enough is that Context, context is uh, key here. The Vietnam and Democratic Cambodia were at war. Referring to a war opponent in official publications, at times it was using what could be perceived as inflammatory language. It's not unusual. Quite contrary, the use of inflammatory language towards a military opponent is standard practice to war. It does not at all demonstrate a genocidal intent, as recognized by, for instance, the white ICTY. In addition to this, several old witnesses also explained that only Vietnamese soldiers were considered quote-unquote enemies. For instance, Mia Zvon, the deputy commander of the West Zone Division 1, testified that Vietnamese refugees were not considered enemies, and that only people with whom there was actual fighting and also Prum Sarat, commander of Company 2 in Division 1, Division 164 Regiment 144, confirmed that only Vietnamese soldiers were considered enemies. And also several DK Congress more generally testified that there was never an official CPK policy to destroy Vietnamese people. Five more minutes, Mr. President, and I will finish um, for the break. The co-prosecutors um, quote Mia Zvun's testimony that, um, and I quote, Vietnamese who did not return to their country had to be smashed, and of course, they quote this multiple times. Once again, also here, they misrepresent evidence by, proof, by failing to provide the full picture. While Mia Zvun did say so during the first day of the testimony, secondly, he unequivocally testified that there was never a genocidal plan against the Vietnamese people or any instruction to kill them. Here's what he said. There was no document or any instruction to in relation to the smashing of the internal yun at all, end of quote. And he, he was very clear that the policy was, and I quote him again, to counter the attempts to invade Cambodia by the external yun, end of quote. And of course, other uh, military combatants, authorities, and civilian cadres confirmed For instance, Prum Sarat, um, the, 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 the commander of Company 2 in um, Division 164, testified that there was no policy. And similarly, Sao Sarun, a member of the Autonomous Sector 105 Committee, who regularly attended the meetings in Phnom Penh, and allegedly reported to and received instructions from เอ่อพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพอพ
ដោយសារតែអ្នកគេមានអ្នកគេមានអ្នកគេមានអ្នកគេមានអ្នកគេមានអ្នកគេមានអ្នកគេមានអ្នកគេមានអ្នកគេមានអ្នកគេមានអ
ពីវិញមកតែសង្ស័យថាមករបបនេះមិនមានផែនការបំផ្លាញឬធ្វើទុកបុគ្គលិកជាតិជនវៀតណាមនៅសាតាយពូជសាសន៍របស់ពួក